Hey church family, thanks again for joining us for our Daily Connection video uh, Wednesday morning or whenever you're watching this. It's supposed to be Wednesday morning, but hey, man, we're just happy that you're joining us. Uh, we are continuing to talk about the message, and and man, today we get to jump into what that message is and who that message is, and that, that is the message of the gospel. It's centered around Jesus Christ, and so we get to see Jesus, as he, he's already come to to earth at where we are in scripture, but we begin to see sort of a marker of the beginning of his ministry and a recognition uh, by God and the world of who he is. So let's jump right in. Mark chapter one, starting in verse nine. We're going to look at verses nine through 11. It says, in those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. As soon as he came up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. There are there are a couple of instances of what's going on here of this of this passage, but I love Mark's uh, because Mark really does focus there on the end uh, on who Jesus is, right? So we see Jesus submitting himself to baptism as an example to all who would follow um, uh, of who he is and what we are commanded to do. And also affirming the ministry of John the Baptist. He's, he's letting the world know John has been preaching right this got this this repentance for your sin and and to be baptized at, at repentance a new life right representation of a new life and Jesus is affirming all that John has been preaching affirming that that he is a prophet sent by God to 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 preach of a coming messiah um this is also uh we see a big the big thing here is we see the recognition of who Christ is by the father and then therefore everyone that is there also recognizes who he is and can we just take a moment and think about what that would have looked like Jesus is baptized uh, down into the water and then the spirit right uh, the second person of the Trinity we have the son is present the spirit comes down like a dove and then the third person of the tree the father so now we have all three here God in, in its fullness is united here in this moment and, and the father says uh, this is my son in whom I am well pleased uh, letting the whole world know exactly who Jesus is man if any of y'all had any doubts about who this guy is who's been walking around talking about repentance just like John is now you know he is the son of God and can you imagine how those people there in that moment would have felt and the things they would have thought to hear a voice come down from heaven a dove uh, come down from heaven as the spirit uh, man, that would have been a, a it's a miraculous moment. Uh, certainly their lives were changed forever. I wish we had a little bit more about the people who were there and witnessed that. I wish we could see a little bit more about what happened to them and, and what they did in response to that. Because here's the thing, you cannot come into the deity, you can't see and understand the deity of Christ and not be transformed by it in some way. Uh, man, when we realize who Christ is, when our eyes are opened to the gospel, our eyes are open to who Christ is and all that he's, he's, all that he came and did and all that we are called to do, you can't stay the same. Uh, but I, I, but I, I firmly believe that a lot of times we don't, we don't reflect on who Christ is. A lot of times we look at him as Jesus Christ in the Bible and, and it kind of stops there and we think about the stories and we think about the Christmas and his birth and we think about Easter and his death and resurrection. And wrapped up in all of those stories is the deity of Christ. But I think a lot of times we don't sit and just reflect on the deity of Christ. That, that he was fully man, but he was also fully God. Um, and the humility that, that had to have come for, for Christ to come to earth for us. I mean, this wasn't just Josh Mo. This wasn't just like a real good dude, right? I mean, he came down. He left his throne on high, ruling over all of creation and more. I mean, whatever. And left all of that to come to earth as a, as a little baby who pooped and peed on himself and, 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 and went through the humility of all of that just so we could be made right in the eyes of God, be made right with the Father. We could be reconciled to him. Uh, man, the deity of Christ is something that we don't need to forget. And so uh, just a couple of things that I would like for you to do. Uh, one is uh, take time, if you, don't, or if you don't already do this, Take time today, maybe even now, take time to reflect on the deity of Christ. Think through all the stories that, that you know of Jesus of Jesus in, in Scripture and put his deity into that. Think about all the things that he would have faced, the, the scraped knees, right? The the people who, who didn't like him, and, and he if he wanted to, he could just 
zap them, you know, but he didn't. <laughs> he loved. And think about all those life's things that would have happened to Jesus as he grew up and think about him in light of who he was and, and his deity. Uh, let's take some time to reflect on the deity of Christ. And then after you've reflected on the deity of Christ, I just have a question. Um, when you, when, after reflecting on the deity of Christ, how do you respond to that? Are you, are you moved to, are, are you moved to, to maybe like some of these people did to go and tell everyone who he is? Um, man, I, I think certainly I am. And I hope that you are. I hope that when you sit and you think about who he is and all he's done, that you, you are moved to go and preach the gospel. You're moved to go and tell people who he is and all he's done, right? Because, because it's, it's a cure for a sickness that's the greatest sickness that exists on earth. And, and it doesn't happen if it's not for him. It doesn't happen if he's not fully God. Um, him being fully God and fully man is, is integral to, to him having the cure for sin. And so my hope is that when you reflect on that, that you are moved to go and tell others about him. And so today, man, after you've taken some time to think on the deity of Christ, who are you going to go and tell? Right? I, I'm sure that the people who saw this, that they were not able to keep their mouth shut. If they had to tell, man, you wouldn't believe we saw this Jesus, old boy from Nazareth, he came down, this happened. Can you believe? I'm sure that they could not help but but speak up. And can I tell you that while that was a great miracle, the greater miracle that's happened is the fact that you and I, if you're a believer, uh, have been redeemed from our sin. That is the greater miracle because that was an impossible thing that, that was done, that could only be done by God through his son. And so, man, as we reflect on the deity of Christ, let's reflect on what all has been done for us. Let's let that motivate us to go and tell others about him. As we do that, church family, I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.